So day three, and we probably got raided last night, but because there was nothing to steal, then um, we're not really worried about it. Yes, somebody noticed our shutter being left guarded, and stole our things, but there was nothing to steal. If we did have anything in the house, you'd get a list down here of everything lost. Okay, so now we can cancel this, we can cancel this. Although I don't think we can do anything today unless we go around and pick up all the parts in the house. No, because we're stuck of those shorts, which, which isn't important because there's really no rush to get this done. We just have to do it in the first 12 days. So we'll go to a new location tonight and come home with a stack of parts. Meantime, we'll um, get to these boxes here. And I'll be back when I get to either this one or this one. So I did this box first. What have we got? So there's two parts and an electrical part, so we just have to make a mental note of that. Okay, now to this one. Okay, we're opening this box. So we found the meds already, I don't expect to see anything in here, you know, just four components, okay. Alright, so now we just have to wait till 11am. 11am is the cutoff. If we don't get a visitor by 11, then we're not going to be getting visitor. So if nothing by 11, there's nothing to make or do today. And it doesn't look like we're getting one today. Alright, as I mentioned, the pattern is normally um, no visitor or Franco on day two and then the Kanban on three, but this time we saw Kanban on eight, uh, day two. So I guess it's Franco tomorrow or the next day. Now, if he comes tomorrow, it means that, um, yeah, because wherever we go tonight, we're going to be taking these cans. So it means that if we take these cans on night three and leave them behind, or we can go somewhere on night three and leave them behind, as long as we go back there on night four and leave them behind and pick them up, because we're going to need one can on day five. So we'll do the airport, I think. Yep, because there's a few trips there. All right, so meantime, I need to be in bed by three because we need to lose our tired status. So let's hide all our wood. Gun. Couple of gun parts to hide. Done. Some components to hide. So I'm going to make these because it's divisible by four, and that means there won't be any components left over to take tonight. Done. So now we've got nothing that can get stolen apart from the tradables, all of which we're going to carry to the airport tonight. And it's before three o'clock, we can get to sleep and uh, see you tonight. Okay, so we're pretty much done with this place for a while. We'll go back there before, because we've got 12 days, and what's going to happen is that we're going to stick to these three locations for the whole 12 days. And it means that on nights 9, 10, 11, or rather 10, 11, 12, the last nights, we're going to be pretty much exhausting these places of their resources before we move on. And by then, a lot of other uh, locations would have opened up. But by then, we'll have everything done in the house that we want to or need to. And um, once we get the new house member, that, then we'll be able to move on with guns and bullets as well, with no injuries. And um, it's just a regular game thereafter. So it's kind of a 12, 13 day game, Marco Solo. But let's go to the airport. And as far as preparation, we take everything, of course, because otherwise we'll be stolen. Remembering that um, we have to go back tomorrow night to bring at least one can home. So let's go. Right, so we start off with these two piles here. I'm going to use this one as my central pile, just out of habit. Not necessarily the best one, or for any great reason, it's just I tend to do this. All right, so we do have something to dig through, so I'm going to take that, but we don't have anything to force, so I'm going to leave that behind and then go downstairs. There's a pile over here. So here's the pile that we need to dig through. We can't jump up here, by the way, so it forces you. If you jump down here, it forces you this way out.
So if it's close to leaving time, for example, and you jump down here, then you'd have to dig through this pile to get out, you'd probably get stuck. But we're doing it early, so it's no problem. We can't pick up everything down here in one go, so we're going to have to come down here in a minute. Two doors to unblock, one here, one here. Done. So we just have to drop this off in our pile, come down, pick that up. And then we're done with the downstairs. Downstairs part. There's no reason to keep the shovel right now. Because where I'm going, I'm not going to be using it. There are quite a few piles here in the airport. So we're going to leave the shovel behind because we don't need it in the house anymore. So I'm just looking at the time, 11.30. So we've got enough to be taking home already. We've got a lot of tradables. Um, yeah, we're good. All right, so I'm going to go over to the uh, plane and see what the soldiers are up to. So we're not going to bother with the soldiers as far as um, taking them on or anything. Just going to see if we can just nip in there, grab a couple of piles and get out. So we've got quite a lot of time there. So this could be quick or take a little while, depending on the soldier's movement. Now, if that, let me just see that door open. No. Okay, so if he just came in, it means that he's going to sit down and go through this whole routine here. So we can keep, we can stay here and um, wait till he leaves till about maybe another one and a half hours. Because he goes through this routine of um, standing up and then he has a stretch or something. Now, as soon as he goes out this door, it means that we can come in here and pick up a couple of piles. Yeah, I need to get some fresh air, which means he's headed off. So he'll be out there for a while, no problem. Now, we can't run because there's another guy up here and we'll alert him if we do any running. But it gives us access to these two piles here. We didn't have to wait too long to do it. We could come back here later and go into combat. I've got a video up on that, but I don't think we'll... Bother. I don't usually do that. There's no real need to. Alright, close the door. Okay, and we're good. So this is the most important pile here because it's always got the meds in. Which one's the lower end? sickness meds, unfortunately. Okay, so we've got lots of parts, we've got lots of electrical components, etc. So we've got 2 a.m., so I'm just going to run around a little bit and uh, pick up a few more miles, uh, sorry, a few more piles and get back to our consolidated pile with all of it. There are a few things to dig through. Uh, there's a pile here to dig through and uh, later on we'll go up here and there's another pile to dig through up there. But it's 2.20, we won't really have time to do that. But I'll be leaving the shovel behind and just picking up what I can and getting it to this central pile and I'll see when I'm done. All right, so it's 3.40, we've got plenty to uh, be getting home with. Well, let's just unload this and decide what to take. So, day four tomorrow, 50-50, that Franco is gonna come. We're not gonna eat, so we don't need to take that. We are gonna take tradables. And I think that's enough if we have sugar on us as well. Sugar is a good balancing item to take. All right, we needed a stack of these as well because we wanted to complete that upgrade. I'm going to leave the shovel here because there are some piles to dig through here. Um, we don't need this for now. Just thinking this for potential trade. I think we've got enough, to be honest. So then it's just uh, components, wood. Take that to get rid of. And go.
So day four, it doesn't matter if we got raided because there was nothing to take. So we may or may not see Franco today. It's either going to be today or tomorrow. But we do need to eat tomorrow, so we have to go back to the airport to grab a can of food. Which is what we'll do. But nothing to steal, no problem. Alright, so we can cancel all of these and get our goods back. So we wanted to upgrade this, didn't we? Let's take a look. Now we have to potter around until 11. 11 o'clock being the cutoff for visitors. And then if Franco isn't here by 11, then he's not coming. So the, um, I think it was here, wasn't it? Well, there's two here, I remember. It's either, but I think there's one here. Yep. All right, so let's upgrade this. And see what we need for the second upgrade. So there's the upgrade done. Now the next upgrade we need another stack of parts, which we've got at the airport. We need a stack of these, which we've got at the airport, and uh, components, which we've got at the airport. And then we can just pick up a solitary one of these and one of these from the house once we bring two stacks back. So we can do that tomorrow. Again, there's no rush on this. We just need to do it before day 13. Because then once we've got the upgraded, uh, we also need to get three boards in here. But again, there's no reason to do that before day 13 or other. There's no rush to get that done. We can do that um, after the upgrade is there. What else? Not really much. Um, it's just waiting till 11 a.m. to see if Franco comes, so we'll do that. 10 past 10 and Franco is here. So let's get trading. So what we want from Franco is all of his components, wood at a minimum, and parts. But this is also useful because it means later in the game we can crank out a lot of cigarettes. And also this. Now do we have enough? Yes we do. So I'm just going to go for the absolute essentials first, which is um, all this stuff. Sugar is balancing item. Okay. So we want all of those parts for sure. And we want the gun parts. Because that now gives us enough to make um, a hatchet. Which, um, again, is not really that important at this stage because um, if we make a hatchet, it's just one more thing to be lumping around with us. But it's good to have the gun parts, so they're easily hidden by making those um, saw blades, so that's okay. So they were quite expensive. And what else? This would be a nice to have, and we'll pick it up later because um, they take four components each to make, so that's uh, equivalent, 12 components there. Is it four components or three? I can't remember. I think it's three, so that's equivalent to nine components. Later in the game, that is. We'll go for that. These are really expensive to make late game too. They cost a lot of water, so I'm going to go for that and a stack of those. So that's going to be expensive. So at least two meds. And I'd like to get these, but that's going to be expensive again. I'm not sure we can afford it. No. So do we give something up? Um, no, I think we can live with that. Those. Actually... I'm just thinking we're going to be, <laughs> wood isn't going to be an issue in this game because um, we're going to be finding an awful lot of it. So if, let's just see how much, oh, it's just one piece of wood for that extra one. Okay, I'm going to go there and just leave that behind. Yeah, that's, I think that's good. Done. 
Right, and I think that means that we can get the... Oh no, we can't get the upgrade in because of the electrical components. But that's not a problem. So we just need to bring a stack of these back tonight and we're good. Alright, we can get to sleep. There's nothing else to do today apart from hide all our things before three o'clock. We've got plenty of time to do that. So we'll do that, get to sleep and um, head off to the airport tonight. See you later. Here we are at night time. We've got some new uh, locations, but we know we have to go back here because we definitely need that can of food. Now we've got the semi-detached house, which um, people live in the other half. That's a Bazina one. So you've got some options there. You can either go into the house, kill Bazina, and the rest of them get a ton of stuff. Uh, but you get a morale hit doing that. Or you go to the other part of the house. But if you do that, you need two saw blades. So that's an option, but there's only one trip there. Military outpost, uh, you can go there, kill the soldiers, get a ton of stuff, but you don't need to do that. There is a trade option there, um, so that's not that great unless you want to go on the rampage and start killing people, which we're not going to do. So it's back to these three locations again, but we need to go here because we need the food, remember. So virus preparation, we managed to hide all of our wood and components but it left us with eight of these uh, which we'll take with us because we're going to use the um, airport as our major dumping ground for things that we go back to at some once we get the new house member we'll go back to the um, airport pick all the things up like these tobacco leaves which we're going to leave tonight and these things which we're going to leave tonight and go so just going up to our central pile we're just going to grab our shovel because there are another two piles to dig through, so just dump all this off. Pick this up. So we're going to go dig through a pile here. And we're, there's another pile to dig through there. And there are a couple of piles to pick up. And I'm just going to go pick up all these piles and then be back here. And back when I'm finished. Just getting back to our centralized pile now. So that's everything picked up in the airport now, unless we go take on the soldiers, which we're not going to do. So there was a diamond here. So, remembering the absolute must-takes, and that's one can of food because we need to eat on day five. Now, we're not going to get Franco, so there's no point thinking about tradables. Not that we have a lot of tradables left here, so we're going to have to go to the supermarket, bring home everything we can, because we're likely to see Franco every three days after day four. It could be day seven day seven or eight so that we would have to prepare for um, him potentially coming on day seven but meantime remember we needed a stack of parts because we brought all our parts from the house remember so that they weren't stolen and we can grab the spare one that we need from one of the piles in the house and we needed a stack of those the rest I would just say hideables, which is the components and wood. Yep, yeah. go there. Okay, let's go home. So into day five. And because we're not leaving anything at home, then we're not really worried about raids. There's nobody to be injured and there's nothing to get stolen, so it's not really an issue. So in terms of upgrades, we should find that we can do the next upgrade on the workstation, except for we're going to be one part short and uh, oh, there was one. Okay, we're going to be one part short and we're going to just cancel all these. And also one electrical component. Let's just have a look. Oh, um, that was quick. All right, this is the woodman. He's going to give us 20 wood, which never hurts, of course. As far as visitors are concerned, um, you also get a guy who comes and gives you 15 books. And the kids often show up asking for meds as well. So I guess they'll be next. All right, so I think we're going to be one part short, one electrical component. Just check. Yeah, all right. I'm pretty sure it was this one, which had, I think there's an electrical thing in there and electrical thing here with a part. All right, so take that, take that, and we can do our upgrade, don't we? Okay, let's 
get it done. Now with this upgraded, there isn't a lot we need to do until the um, next house member comes. Because our initial goal was one upgrade here and get this fully upgraded so that we could get the boards and the windows in. So the next thing is just to get as many of these in as we can. Because once we've got the three boards in, then we will be allowed to upgrade the door. So we're going to do that and I'll be back when that's done. So we're just coming up to finishing the second board. I don't think there's time to get the third one in because we've only got one and a half hours. There are a few other things we need to do. We have to eat today, remember, which is why we brought this can back. And then we need to tuck all of our stuff away and get to bed by three. So let's do that. All right, so we're fed. So let's get our wood put away. Done. Next. Yeah, it's pretty tight without doing that third board. I think that um, gets rid of all of them, yep. Done. And we can get to bed. So we beat the three o'clock deadline. So yeah, definitely no time to do that last board. Okay, I'll see you tonight. All right, as I mentioned, um, we're going to spend all of our time just floating between these three, I think. So we're going to go to the supermarket, um, but I don't have... Oh, there's absolutely nothing. All right. So I need the shovel for that. So I'm going to have to go to the airport anyway and bring back the shovel because I need a weapon. The shovel's, um, shovel functions as a weapon at the supermarket. So we're going to go to the airport and nothing to take at all, which is nice and go. All right, so seeing as we've looted all the piles here, it's just a question of deciding what to take with us. Now, day six, we're not going to see Franco. Uh, we don't need to take food back. So we need this. If we're going to go to the supermarket, we need this as a weapon. This would be useful as well because there um, are a couple of boxes to open up. Now, I'm just thinking if we can get the upgraded door in. I don't know if we're going to have enough. So we're just going to take one set of parts and a lot of components, a lot of wood. But we're definitely not because we need four of these so we're gonna have to um I'm trying to think we'll get four more of those from the supermarket anyway so i'm just going to take this i think so components of wood and what we should find is that we are short of being able to get the um upgraded door in by parts and electrical components but we can get those at the supermarket. So let's go there. So I'm going to end the episode there rather than run too long. And uh, I'll be back for the next episode and hope to cover days six through eight or six through nine, depending on how long each day goes. And I uh, hope to see you then. So thanks for watching and bye.